Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use switch component in material UI with React. So let's understand the use of it. So here we have a new component and I import here box component and uh, a component here typography from MUI material. Now I make certain changes. So I convert this into box as we know that box is just like a div. Now here I change it to typography. I say variant is H4 and I say MUI switch example. Now I change it to the center alignment. Now you see that we have this kind of output. Now try to use switch component. So I say here form control label. Here I say label and I say change red color like this. Change to red background color like this. Then we have control. Control I need to use switch. So like that self closing tag. So I have like this right now. If you see the output, we have this one. We click here, then we should change color. So for that, I make back margin here. I say margin two, or we can say three. And I say BG color is equal to here. I will write a color. I say get color as a function I will call here. And uh, in switch case, I say checked equal to checked. I will take a state variable and on change, I want to call handle switch function like that. Save this. Now I take a state variable. First variable is const type of checked set check equal to use state and uh, use state. And this user state should have a false as a default value. Now one more I take I say color and uh, I say set color and I say use state like that. Save this. Now I create handle switch function. So I say handle switch and here I should have event and I change this to set checked and here I say event dot target dot value. So I am changing the value of this checked and this value we are using here also. So one thing is done. Now we have to make color. So I create this function also const get color equal to and here. I check if uh, we say checked if checked is true then I should uh, change color to I say here the color would be of uh, red else we should make color to the white save this and uh, set color is not defined so that is color save this and uh, we have to use color also so set color then i return here color so color we have set then we return the color color will come here now try to check it you see that with if i do on the background color is change so i say here false is not uh, working so we should check it also we have checked here and I say false here set checked okay in place of value we have to pass here checked not value because in switch we have checked value and uh, I can display this value here also just to show you what is the current value so uh, here I need to use so I say br I say uh, 
switch value that is checked that I have to combine with a string done this now we try to see refresh you see we have false right now so I say true that means it is true and color is changed to red I say false you see now value is false and color is changed to white again you see so once again whenever we try to click then this value change and color is also changing and value is also changing so you can see that how we can use switch here in material UI we have more values or more controls also in switch but that is depend on your requirement so if you require more controls of switch component then you can go for material UI website and there you can select the number of options which you required but for this example I want to show you only the use of this switch components so like that with form control label you can use switch control we have checked value here we have on change in place of value we use here checked value because it returned true and false value and on the basis of true and false we can judge our result and you have the output in front of you that whatever the value you want to perform whatever the tasks you want to perform I'm just giving example to change the background color but on the basis of selected value you can do whatever you want in your application that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video